Hello again, and welcome back to another one. And today we have some drama thanks to the Grammys, because the 2022 nominations are out that spark reactions from fans on social media, and it's the routine at this point for Eminem's clip to go viral around this time. First of all, that vote is fake as f That's not a real vote. And some artists have voiced out their disappointment after the nominations were revealed, from Miley Cyrus to MGK, but on MGK's end is getting slammed, along with the organization with takes like, the Grammys are trash, but so is MGK, and we'll get to more on this in a bit. We also have more that's shocking, to say the least, the streaming platform Deezer, that's quite popular in Africa, Europe, and the Middle East, recently revealed the top artists on their platform in 2021, and once again, Eminem's position is mind-blowing, since he's yet to drop a project in 2021. And before we dive into the details, if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and find me on social media at etlifestyle underscore web. So usually, when Grammy nominations are revealed, there's a lot of drama that comes with it. And ever since Eminem's interview with Sway, Eminem has become a recurrent participant in this drama, ever since he revealed the tricks of the organization. They give it to who, who they want to give it to. They give it to their darlings. The oh, this got critical acclaim, but it sold two records. I'm fine if I lose to Kanye or someone that I'm like, okay, I respect that. I know who that is. And Kanye has a huge following. He's made a massive impact on music. Fine, I'm good with that. But don't f get us all here to use your selling point for your f show and stiff everybody every single time. And I said, after that point in time, I was like, don't ever ask me to f come here again. Please do not ask me. And when Scammies was trending, popular tweets followed where even Eminem's lyrics from 4 were quoted. Here's what 15 time Grammy winner Eminem said about the Scammies. And more, Eminem was so freaking right. And it was all over Twitter, and I believe this was mostly from fans of BTS, as they believe the band is being used for the classic Grammys bait and switch due to the huge fan base. Let's not forget this wise words from Eminem about the Scammies, another expands. And on the list of Album of the Year nominations, you can spot Kanye West Donda, and some are wondering, how is Kanye West still getting Grammy nominations after this? But I believe that's because his team still submits his records, unlike Eminem's team right now. And even if he doesn't win, he has a huge audience, and the Grammys love that, like Eminem explained. Artists like Miley Cyrus and MGK got snubbed, and in Miley's case she simply reacted, by by sharing a link of 30 artists who haven't won Grammys and added the caption, in good company, and she mostly received positive reactions like, hope you know that you're great and the Grammys don't determine your musical artistry and value. But when MGK hopped on to complain like they did him wrong, the reactions were not so favorable. He tweeted, what the F is wrong with the Grammys? But that led to popular reactions like, make better music, and this followed that up, don't make music at all, more like. And some took the time to elaborate. Well, they have a tradition of quality to uphold, and just because you suckered some kids into believing this new music you're doing, it doesn't mean it's as good as the others out there. You might be believing in your own hype, Taylor Swift been snubbed before too. And for some, this snob is enough to make the awards valid this year. I did not see that the original post is by MGK, I guess the Grammys are valid this year. Another reacted to a report on MGK's reaction. Right message, wrong messenger. More, they did one thing right, and it was snobbing you. And it looks like that weird interview we covered a few months ago did no favors for MGK, many still remember. I'm sure they just didn't want to smell complaint at the show. And more on that note, oh, this isn't your fight. Go make dinner for me, you know, something, I don't know. Moving on to the next topic, just like those of you who've been following this channel already know, Eminem is the top male rapper on this platform so far in 2021, but Deezer's report just added more to this impressive 2021 run after they released the 2021 global report Deezer Best of 2021. And check this out, top 10 male artists, overall Eminem is ranked number 7, and for rappers, he's first on the list one spot above Drake for the year. Mind you, Drake dropped CLB in 2021, while Eminem dropped a few features here and there. But there was a bigger surprise, the top 10 albums of the year, where Eminem's 2005 curtain called the hits ranked as the 9th biggest album of 2021. And at this point, the people that still say that Eminem's music didn't age well are pretty much in the same group that deny that gravity exists, don't you think? What more 
always needed. And for those that don't know, nearly every top tier rapper has released a compilation album like her encore. Certainly your favorite rapper's favorite rappers have, from Eminem, Jay-Z, DMX, Nas, Park, Biggie, the list goes on and on. But in 2021, her encore is the most relevant of the bunch in major markets around the world. But that hasn't stopped the, in quotes, gravity deniers from trying. In the United Kingdom, for instance, these are reported. English singer-songwriter Ed Sheeran steals the crown, coming in as the number one most streamed artist, followed by Eminem and The Weeknd. Fellow Brit Dua Lipa wasn't far behind at number 4 and Little Mix rounded out the top 10. This is a streaming report and when it comes to pure sales, Eminem is still running the show on that format. And here's a quote from Deezer's Global VP of Artist Relations. It is fantastic to see so many homegrown artists like Ed Sheeran and Dua Lipa continue to shine both internationally and here in the United Kingdom. What really stands out is the enduring appeal of older material, The Weeknd's Blinding Lights and Tones and Ice Dancing Monkey. Both continue to dominate the charts more than 18 months after release and it's remarkable that Eminem remains as popular now as he was two decades ago. In the United Kingdom, for instance, it's Curtain Call again doing its thing as the sixth top album of 2021 on the platform. And in the United States, at this rate, I expect Curtain Call to be eligible for Diamond around the Super Bowl, at least in the first quarter of 2022, and recovery will likely pick up after that. So keep an eye out for that one. That will be all for today. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.